when the deepest part of you becomes engaged in what you're doing. You are doing what you're meant to be doing. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Bobsleigh is not a sport for the week. It's minus 40 and your eyelashes are freezing together. You're moving equipment, everything's super heavy. You're out in the cold, you're out in the rain for long hours. It's not really the Cinderella princessy sport. We're definitely a lot rougher. We've got three elements in bobsleigh that make or break a race. You have to have the equipment, you have to have the start, and you have to have the drive. It's a sport where gold medals are won by 100%, so if you can get a tiny advantage, that's the difference between winning and not. One one hundredth of a second is the width of a hair. Everything needs to be exact and precise. I can't do this alone. I spend at least seven or eight months of the year with her. The start is crucial in Sochi. It's a starter's track. That first 40 meters, that's the only way for us to accelerate the sled. Every single steer I do down the track just slows it down. It's an advantage for us to train in Canada being a winter nation. It's what we live in. We train as hard as the Olympic sprinters do, but we also train as hard as the Olympic lifters do. They say it takes 10,000 hours to perfect your craft. After 10 years in the sport, I have 19 hours of doing my sport. We've got limited time in the sled. Everything we do is mental. If I close my eyes, I'm able to actually put myself in that sled, on that track, in those corners, and to get that same feeling in my hands, through my body. So when things are coming at you at 150 kilometers per hour, you're pulling anywhere from three to six Gs, depending on the corner. I've done it. My body just instinctively will know what to do. The Olympics to me is the ultimate. Two days in a four-year cycle, you have a winner. To know that I did it at a back-to-back -back Olympic Games, that's the dream I'm chasing. My name is Kaylee Humphreys, and I'll be representing Canada in Sochi.